Hi guys, so in the last video you saw me uh, make the parts for this power feed and assemble the power feed on the end of the uh, milling machine table. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to wire up the stepper motor um, and we're going to get it working and we're going to complete the project. Um, so let's get into it. So first of all I'll run you through the parts that I've got for this part of the project. So. I bought a junction box. Um, this is about 200 mil by 150 mil, um, and the intention is to use this to mount the switches. And I'll get as much of the um, controls in there as well as I can. Um, I'm hoping to get the stepper motor controller in there, but um, if we type for space, I might have to mount the stepper motor controller outside of this box. So then, as I say, we have a stepper motor controller, a driver. I have a transformer, which is going to convert my 240 volt to 12 volt. Um, again, this won't fit inside the junction box, so I'll mount that outside of the junction box. The other important piece I got is this stepper motor control controller which has a potentiometer on it you've got a stop start control and a forward and reverse button which was a uh, I have removed that and what I've done is I've soldered on a three-way switch it just makes it easier to mount um, the buttons on here you've actually got this this heat sink which sits above the height of the button which doesn't really make it ideal for mounting what I was hoping is I could have mounted it so these red buttons would have stuck through the cover of this junction box but that's not going to happen so uh, hence why I've soldered on a switch uh, to control it And the other thing I've got is just a two-way switch, which I'm just going to use as an on-off. I'll mount that as well, um, so that is just sticking out through the through the junction box, and that'll just be uh, that'll just cut the power from the controller and the potentiometer. So that's all the parts I'm going to use. Um, I might use a few. Uh, like chocolate block connectors um, I'm just using cable that was lying around uh, I had some of this twin and earth it's a bit heavy duty but uh, it'll do the job um, yeah so we'll get on with assembling um, these parts so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mount the box on here this is the uh, frame I made for the milling machine, the stand, so I'm going to drill and tap the frame to match the box um, and then we'll mount that on there and we'll start wiring things into it.
So I've got the box fix on there now. All I've done is I've drilled and tapped the steel frame M4 um, and I've just used two M4 cap head screws just to hold that on there. Two is enough, there's not going to be a lot of load on there. It's going to take a lot of weight and even with the two it's got a good hold on there. So what I've done here is I've took the eight cables from the stepper motor um, I'll put a diagram up to how the wiring works on this stepper motor in the video. So I've paired up the wires for the positive and the negative for the two poles um, and then I've just wired it into two positives and two negatives and on the other end of the cable I've just uh, tied them together so I know which pole is which and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put them uh, inside a heat shrink just to keep it all tidy and then we'll get this wired into the stepper controller so as you can see what I've done is I've brought those four wires now from the stepper motor into the junction box um, and I think for now the stepper driver uh, I'll have to see how it is once I get the controllers in the top here how much space they have um, and I'll maybe just sit the step driver in there. So before I run out of space and it becomes too congested in here, I'm gonna uh, make the holes for the controls along this top edge. Uh, so I'll do that now. So I think the next thing I'll do is uh, fit the power supply, um, it's not going to fit inside there so I think I'm just going to mount it on the inside of the leg um, and what I'm starting to think about now is um, I think eventually I'll upgrade this junction box um, for a bigger one that will get both the power supply and the stepper controller in there. So I'll get this fitted on here now. Um, just as a temporary measure until I get a new uh, junction box.
So you just saw me there uh, wiring up the controls to the um, stepper controller. So what I'll do is I'll just talk you through how I've got this wired up. So first of all I've got my power transformer mounted in the back here. So out there I've got a 12 volt supply which comes up into the box. Comes up into the box here. And then from there I've got the negative goes to this switch which will be the power on and off. Um, and that will cut the power to the control board and the stepper controller. Then there is a negative pulse, a negative direction and a negative enable um, on that board. Let's see if we can get it to focus. And then from there those negatives go down onto the stepper controller and it's just a case of relating those cables to the relevant connectors on the stepper controller and then these two here are the positive and negative supply to the stepper controller what I'll do is I'll put a, a wiring diagram up which I used for this um, the only thing the wiring diagram doesn't show is that you need to a positive and a negative supply to the stepper controller. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire in the stepper motor to the stepper controller. So I'll get that done now. So to wire the stepper motor uh, to the controller, um, earlier we paired up the wires so we had an A, co a coil and a B coil. So all we need to do now is um, take the A coil and the B coil and uh, relate it to these, wire it into the corresponding um, terminals and hopefully it should work. So I'll get that wired in. Blue is positive, brown is negative, so we'll get it wired into those points. So that's it, I've got the stepper got the stepper motor wired into the stepper controller so hopefully it should all work. Before I put the cover on the junction box uh, we'll put the power on and make sure it works. So uh, let's try this, we've got a power on switch first. So it works, that's good. So there's travelling right to left. We'll uh, knock it off and then we'll see if we can get it to go left to right. There we go. We also have a speed control so we can speed it up a bit. Slow it right down. So 
So I think the noise was mainly the handles on the end uh, rattling. Um, so I think I maybe need to make some spaces just to tighten that up a bit. So I'm going to turn the speed right down. We'll take it back in the other direction. So that's as slow as it'll go. I'm going to gradually build the speed up. So it does seem to get to a point where it crashes if you go too fast so I might have to play with the settings on the stepper controller just to see if I can remove that. So I'm really happy with how that's turned out. Um, I'm not an expert on electrics by any means. Uh, I've worked all this out just by looking on YouTube at other, others that have used stepper motors. Uh, I'll also put a link in the description to the parts that I've used on these electrical components. Um, and using that link in the description, it also supports my channel. Um, I'm going to put the cover on now. Um, everything seems to be working. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, uh, like, comment below. And uh, you can also find us on Instagram now. So uh, follow us there as well. So thanks for watching and uh, see you again next time.